I'm Laurie Oberman, CEO of Talking Business. And today I'm back to give you some basic legal slash criminal terminology. So let's get straight down to it. If it is claimed that you were involved in some illegal activity, another word for claimed is alleged. You are alleged to have broken the law and you are therefore a suspect and as a suspect you may be held by the police for questioning in what the police call a police interrogation which looks a little bit like this if they decide that they need a little more evidence in order to make a case against you you may be remanded or detained in custody they both mean held, remanded or detained in custody, meaning at the police station in a police cell for 24 hours. If in the end they decide that they have enough evidence to make a case against you, you will be charged with the offence. Now offence is a minor crime, perhaps speeding, trespassing on somebody else's private property, very minor offences that can be paid for by a fine if it's a first offence. In America, it's called a misdemeanor. However, burglary, theft, stealing a car, and of course the much more serious offences, uh, murder, rape, manslaughter, and so on, are called serious crimes in the UK and in the US, a felony. A felony is actually defined as a crime for which the penalty is over one year in jail. So that's a very clear description or definition of a felony or a serious crime. Again, if you are charged, you in the US or the UK, you will stand trial in front of a jury, 12 people who will listen to the case and decide your fate. They will be guided on the finer legal points by the judge, but they will decide whether you are guilty or innocent. If you are innocent, you will be acquitted. Or if you are found innocent, it's unfortunately not always the same. If the jury find you innocent, you are not guilty beyond all reasonable doubt, then you must be acquitted. If, however, they are convinced beyond all reasonable doubt that the crime was committed, you are convicted. You will then be sentenced by the judge who will, uh, according to some standards, decide whether you will go to prison, pay a fine, be on probation. That means to report to an officer or a police station on a regular basis. That will be your sentence. If you feel there was something unfair about the trial, uh, there was evidence that was omitted, there were things which you believe the jury misunderstood, you may appeal to the Court of Appeal. And ultimately, if there is a case worth taking higher than in the UK, you may take your case to the High Court or in America, the Supreme Court. But again, only if it really has something new to show the judges. That was a quick presentation of some very basic legal and criminal terminology. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and I'll be back again soon with another top tip. Goodbye for now.